From music to media, restaurants, and of course, clothing, Hawaii's finest has become one of the biggest brands in the islands. Biggest brands. Now, we talk with this local company to learn how they become a worldwide name. Supporting and representing all things Hawaii, Hawaii's finest clothing has become one of the most recognizable clothing lines in the world. Now, here to tell us about Hawaii's finest clothing, we have Hualani Obero Zablon, Executive Assistant at Hawaii's Finest. Hi, sis, how are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> Thank you Thanks for having coming. us on air today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for coming on Living 808. Now, I am repping one of your shirts, and I get so much compliments on that. And we're going to go into this in just a little bit. But for those that don't know too much about Hawaii's finest clothing, can you catch them up to speed? Let us know how everyone started, what you guys are about, and basically, what's the inspiration behind it? Basically, Hawaii's Finest was started um, back in 2009. Uh, a couple of friends from Molokai, they just they just knew what state, what people they love to rep, and that's our hometown, that's Hawaii. So they wanted to bring that to life on something that started simple with t-shirts, and eventually it expanded to things like collections and you know events. Uh, we do food now, to media and TV, and definitely our favorite thing to do is charity work for our people. Now, I want to dive into the collection because there is so much at Hawaii's Finest. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the collections and what are the most popular items that you sell? Where to start? I swear, we drop things every Friday, and it's crazy and hectic to keep up with it, but we love it and we do it. Um, so basically, we have our monthly staple t-shirt lines. Um, that's just like our bread and butter of the company. It's very streetwear, street style. After that, we do drop about four to six Aloha print collections a year. Our biggest one is typically the Mary Monarch Festival, which we didn't get to do this year, but it didn't stop us from dropping it. Um, from there, we do activewear, swimwear for adults and keiki. We've done footwear before, ice buckets, coolers, luggages for traveling, umbrellas, and many more accessories from like little things to large things. <laughs> That's amazing how it started off with just a simple t-shirt design. And now you said you branched out into coolers and yes. water bottles. And you know, now there you guys have your music and your media line. I mean, Hawaii's finest is just probably one of Hawaii's finest empires. <laughs> Business empires, we love it. <laughs> now, what's the inspiration behind going into making the clothes? Because sometimes it can be kind of hot in Hawaii or actually all the time, right? Typically when we do our collections, we do um, keep in mind our seasonal weather, keeping it warm, keeping it light and flowy, and then just vibing off of what is modern day styles to keeping it also cultural and traditional and what we feel is warm to our our true people. You know, we are, we're the people's brand and we like to make sure we stick with that, but also want to stay edgy, but not, you know, not losing our element of who we are. I love that. And we said before we started filming, it's traditional Hawaiian wear meets modern style. Yeah. So it reaches all realms of the spectrum. Now, where can people go to shop? Um, what are your locations? Uh, do you have a website that we can follow? Yes, actually, there's so many places and so many ways you can join our team in repping our Hawaii's finest. So our first and foremost location is our ward location. That's at Ohana Marketplace. If you folks are not um, familiar with it, it's the old sports authority. Our second location is in Kapule at Kamakana Ali'i on the Macy side of the mall. Both stores are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, so we, we're not typically closed. Um, if you have family on Molokai or if you're visiting there, we do have a little store there, so go ahead and visit Paulella's family and give them a shout out. And then if you just don't want to travel because COVID is real life, <laughs> um, you can go ahead and check out our online website at www.highfinest.com. And if you're a true and true supporter, we actually have now created a Hi-Fi app for smartphones. So that gets an update weekly with anything that's Hi-Fi news and the restock of all of our inventory. And our last big thing that we just 
um, started. Our grand opening was last week for it. Last week, Friday, is our High Finest Cafe in Ohana Marketplace. That's exciting. From clothing to music and now food. Literally, you guys are living 808. Like... <laughs> It's it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adi, thank you so much for talking to me today. Have a great rest of your day, and I will continue to rep. Yes. Yeah. I like it, Mikey. Like you said, you get a lot of compliments. I know every time you wear that. So. <laughs> yeah, I know when people, whenever I wear this, people are like, "Hey, do you play sports?" I'm like, "Yes, bats, mitts, um, cages, um, <laughs> sports terminology." <laughs> No, but honestly, shout out to Paulele, um, Sua, Hualani, um, everybody at Hawaii's Finest. They mm -hmm. are killing the game. And Tanya, like, what started off as just a simple graphic design right. turned into, you know, this huge line. And then they added the aspect of music because they have Maoli and Kapena, mm -hmm. High Water, um, Tropical Nights is going to be later on. And then they just added their High Finest Cafe. So mm. literally, food, fashion, fun. Um, that it's sounds just... familiar, living in <laughs> Yeah, huh? Living in a way in, in Hawaii's finest form. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Can't wait to check out the cafe there. So we've covered fashion. Yeah.